guys, welcome back to my channel. This week is going to be all about my teacher outfits. So, since it's Monday, outfit number one. And as you can see, I match my room. I did do a video similar to this last year, so I'll put that right up here. Pretty sure that time was parent-teacher conferences, so fancier outfits, but I do like to dress a little fancier anyway. So just throwing that out there, I'm not a big jewelry person. So these rings I wear every day. This one's from my brother and this one I've had since like eighth grade. But I do switch up necklaces. So this one, my mother got for me. And it says, Miss Blair, love, inspire, teach. And then it has a little apple ruler and a little diamond thing. So I wear this today. Um, this mustard colored shirt is from New York and Company. And I have a matching undershirt underneath because you know, Gotta be able to raise those hands. Next is pantalones. So the flowery pantalones are from New York and Company and then just regular flat shoes today. So this is definitely a fun like summery business casual outfit. The, the kids always love when I wear like patterned pants so like flowers and polka dots and stuff like that. Um, and I tend to wear a lot of pants to school because my room is now freezing. If you remember one of my first videos about this year, I said that temperature's great in my room and that tech guys came and I told them not to touch it. They touched it. So now I'm always having to have a sweater. And I always really like sweaters with pockets because that's what I like to put my keys in phone in, I got everything I need right here, always a couple pens, and then I bring them home and I lose them. <laughs> but I love this shirt because the little frills, so I also get really sad when I have to wear sweaters all day over cute shirts. All right, so that's Monday. I'll see you tomorrow. What's up guys, it's Tuesday, so outfit number two. All right, so accessories are still the same. I have my rings, my Fitbit that I always wear, and the necklace, same necklace that my mom got me. Uh, other accessory is Pretty much I always have a scrunchie, that way I can just throw this bad boy up. All right, so actual outfit. This blazer is a nice staple piece that I got from Kohl's. It's super warm and like I said, my costume is freezing. For shirts, I just have this simple pink blouse. I got this from either Target or New York and Company as well. Um, a little more low cut than I would like just because I don't want there to be any chance of a show, but I have an undershirt underneath, so all bases are covered. Literally. And I love my pants today. They're from Kohl's. I got them on sale for like 30 bucks. They're actually pretty high waist, and they're stretchy, so I could do anything in them. And they're leopard, so they're just really cute. And I just have these shoes. Pretty simple, little heel, nothing big. Cute little design. They are my go-to shoes. I have them in tan as well. I'm pretty sure I got them from JCPenney's. So definitely check and see if they still got them because it's the perfect size heel. Not too high, not too low, just a little bit to give that extra oomph. So my favorite part about this outfit is that these are so soft and stretchy that I feel like I'm wearing like leggings. But with the pink blouse, I feel like I'm spicing up, adding some pop of color. And with my blazer, I feel all fancy. So that's my teacher outfit for Tuesday. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's Wednesday, so that means today was a minimum day. Also means up at number three. So I'm rocking the blazer again today, but underneath my blazer, one of my favorite dresses. I got this at New York and Company last year, I believe, maybe over summer, and it goes with about anything. You could pair this with like a bright, colorful cardigan. You could wear a long sweater with it. It is so comfy, so easy to throw on. It doesn't wrinkle easily. That's probably the main reason why I like it. I also like this tie because it looks really cute from the front to give it a little extra something, but you can also turn it around. And now it looks normal and you have your cute little tie in the back. My main favorite thing about this dress is the length. I don't have to worry about bend it over or anything. It's like that perfect calf length. I have the same shoes as yesterday, so no big deal there. I think that length is a very flattering, classy length. Either way, I have shorts underneath. Jewelry today. I have a different necklace on today. It's just like a little jewel thing that Jake, my brother, got for me. I don't know where. Probably Charming Charlie's. Um, which is also where I got my scrunchie. But now they're closed, so it doesn't matter. So that is Wednesday's outfit. Tomorrow's Thursday, and I'm actually not going to be in my classroom. I'm going to be going around observing all the other third grade teachers within my district. Well, I'm super excited about that. Fun fact, had nothing to do with my outfit, but I'll still show you tomorrow. All right, so we got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. 
Two more days to go. It's Thursday, almost Friday, so outfit number four. So I pretty much turned yesterday's dress into pants. But they're so cool, cause like no button, no zip, just pull them up, good to go. But I like the little crop leg, and they're super comfy. So easy, slip them on and go. Then I got this shirt from New York and Company as well. I'm pretty sure in another video I have a light pink one just like it. I really like the sleeves, I feel like they're really dainty. I also like the illusion of the low cut, even though you can't really see anything. I paired it with this necklace that I got from Target. So pretty much this entire outfit is New York and Company. Besides the shoes from JCPenney's. Well that's my outfit for Thursday, and tomorrow's Friday, so that means casual Friday, jeans, and a cute teacher tee which is gonna be really hard to pick which one I wanna wear tomorrow because I have a pretty fine collection that I'm picking up. <laughs> but yeah, so see you tomorrow. We made it to Friday, thank goodness. So got a casual Friday outfit for you. T-shirt is from, let me put you down here a little bit. So this T-shirt, kind people are my kind of people. This is from The Right Stuff Chicks. They had a major sale going on where their shirts were all like 10 bucks, so I loaded up and I think I got like three or four of them. They're awesome. They're like such, I like them because they're long length, so I can wear them long like this, I can tie it if I want, and it's still long enough to where I don't have to worry about like tummy showing or anything like that. And they're just super soft, so they're comfy to wear. I also like the little V, so it makes it a little more feminine. And I matched it with this little key. Um, I'm not even sure if this goes, oh, well, I guess I matched it with two necklaces, this one and my long one. Forgot to take it off. Then my jeans, I just have normal black jeans. And I paired it with this sweater. This has little slits on the side. And this just makes it look a little more elegant and professional than just jeans and a t-shirt. And then I have super casual shoes on today. Nothing major. So today was just super casual Friday. <laughs> I believe sweater and pants are both from Target and these shoes are from DSW, I believe. So here's my Friday outfit. So those are all my teacher outfits for the week. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next week. Bye.